And it's good to report a great news story, actually, and it's happening at Subi Hall and Gardens. A very special resident there is celebrating a very special birthday this coming Monday. And to tell us more about it is the Subi Hall and Garden Zoo head keeper, and that's John Pickering. Uh, hiya, John. How, I hope you're keeping safe. Yes, I am. Thanks. I hope you are too. Thank you very much. We are, and hopefully you are, and all your team are at the Subi Hall and Gardens as well. Now, although the zoo is actually closed at the moment, of course, you and your staff are having to obviously continue to do the, 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 all the great work that you do. You have a very special birthday celebration coming up on Monday for one of your residents, though, John. We do. Uh, Rosie the Penguin, uh, on Monday, she'll be 30 years old. Wow. Now, this is quite unusual, isn't it, for a penguin? It is. The, the average lifespan in the wild would be 15 to 20. I mean, we've had penguins get up to about 25, and we even had one last year uh, that got to uh, 27, but, you know, never to 30 before. Wow. What, what do you think the reason is? Why, why is Rosie doing so well? I'm not sure. I would like to think that it's um, uh, myself and my keepers, uh, you know, care for her, and also maybe the sea air. I'm sure it, it must have something to do with both those elements, I think, as well. So, uh, obviously, with uh, Subi Hall being closed at the moment, uh, you, you can't really let Monday go without marking the event, can you? No, we can't. No, I mean, we're, we're going to put up some um, some bunting and some birthday banners and uh, probably sing a happy birthday and uh, make sure she gets plenty of fish that day. Is it and the... the top, have, a, have a little party, you know. That'll be great. Is it the kind of thing that maybe you and your staff might do some kind of Facebook video, do you think, that we'll all be able to enjoy? Can I encourage you to do that, perhaps? Yeah, uh, I think we'll do that. Yes, I'll run it by our marketing manager. manager. I'm sure that we can do something like that. I'm sure Stuart will say yes to that, you know. He'll, he'll, probably, he'll be very happy to join in, I'm sure. I think he will, yeah. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. What's life like uh, uh, for an everyday penguin then, John? I mean, what 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 do you, what do they do on a, a typical day? Uh, well, they come out of their huts on the morning and they go for an early morning swim. Uh, we give them their, uh, a small feed in the morning with a with a vitamin tablet in and a salt tablet in. Uh, and then they, after they've had a swim, they sort of come out of the pond and they sort of uh, laze around for a while. It's almost like lockdown for the rest of us, really, isn't it? Maybe, maybe there are some important lessons we can learn from Rosie. Yeah, maybe there is. Yeah. <laughs> possibly, possibly not as well. Well, congratulations to Rosie the Penguin, and well done to to you, John, and all your team at Subi Hall and Gardens as well, doing a tremendous job during this lockdown. And uh, key thing is for you all to stay as safe as you possibly can. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that, and uh, you as well.